Greetings, it's me, Carrie Crystal Moonrise. Welcome to this episode of Carrie's Quick Tarot. I'm going to just sage my cards real quick. This video is brought to you by LegacyKeyLeaf.com, a one-stop shop for your spiritual and tension supplies. Alright, I'm just going to move my chair back a little so this table isn't shaking. So, maybe I should push this back a little. I don't know if that helps or not just yet we'll see if the table shakes the table shakes all right so yes y'all visit my peaceful energy uh shop legacyqleaf.com and uh if you want to feel high vibe grounded chill and relaxed i'm sure i got something for you there all right so let's get started This video is for entertainment purposes only. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay? Right. I am not a medical professional or legal counselor or anything like that. So, you know, if you need that type of assistance, then you should get it. <laughs> um, I'm just someone who knows how to read the energy off of some cards. So, if that resonates for you, then hopefully I have a message to deliver for you. Source, higher self, Holy Spirit guides, angels of the highest vibration, ancestors who love me. Please help guide this message. Please hide any uh, shape-shifting energies. There's folks out there who try to turn into someone else for a day or two or a week or more. And try to hold that energy. I'm this person. Send a message. And then next thing you know, there's a message coming through. And it's like, hold on a second. That's a lie. Meaning their energy, they shifted their energy in order to be perceived a certain way for a reading. And, uh, yeah, if you didn't know folks can, can do that, folks can try to do that. So that's why you want to be very discerning for taking what resonates and leaving the rest. Okay? Not everything is your story. So, be responsible with the information that you allow yourself to uh, to receive, okay, when dealing with that. Okay, just needed to say that. All right, so the cards that I've been holding. We've got the Emperor card here, okay. We've got the Judgment card here, and then we've got the Knight of Cups card here. Oh my goodness. All right. So the emperor card came out first. The emperor. This is someone who's like a boss figure. Someone who is um, about the, you know, about structure, order, uh, you know, basically a boss. You know, someone who, who knows how to, to run the show. Right? Okay. Or thinks they know how to run the show. Then we've got judgment. Okay, so it appears that judgment has been called on an emperor figure. Okay, or that an emperor figure is going through some type of judgment situation, in which case their character is being assessed or evaluated, or uh, you know they're receiving uh, consequences potentially um, for certain actions that maybe they have taken. Okay. And that judgment is has been called on uh, an emperor, a boss figure, okay? And this knight of cups, knights are typically messengers, cups representing emotions. So there's a messenger who wants to uh, say that somebody has some emotions for someone, okay? But sometimes when I see this card, also to me represents being the individual sending the message being emotionally unveiled all right so will I attribute that to this card right now not sure yet let's pull some more cards shall we yes. source higher self holy spirit guides angels of the highest vibration ancestors who love you 
please help guide this message. Thank you. Please help deliver this message. And any shape shifting energies we want to remove those. They don't get to come inside of my chamber. <laughs> my message chamber. said I only want the truth. Ace of Swords represents truth, justice, and righteousness. Okay? So, that's the truth. Okay? So, the truth is that there's a boss figure, an emperor figure, someone who may be a business owner or uh, some type of a leader. Someone in a leadership position, a very high leadership position is under judgment. Uh, but they want to send a message of you know where, where does this fit in where does this knight of cups card fit into this because right now we've got the 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 confirmation that there's an emperor figure that's under judgment what does under judgment mean it means he's receiving some consequences for actions we all get consequences for our actions whether good consequences or not so good consequences, there are consequences. That's the truth. So, where does this Knight of Cups fit in this? The Emperor who's under judgment likes somebody. <laughs> okay, so they like whoever's in the star energy. Okay, so, so they like the star. Okay, and that's the truth. But who's the star? Who's the star in your story? Are you the star of your story? If you're the star of your story, then there's a, a boss figure, a leader, someone who's in a leadership position, who's in big trouble. And that's the truth. And they like you. <laughs> okay, what's that have to do with anything? This the, okay. Swords, higher self, Holy Spirit, guides, angels of the highest vibration, ancestors who love me. Please help this message make some more uh, sense. Because somebody's in trouble, but they're trying to say they like you. They're receiving a consequence, or should be, res or I have to, <laughs> got the tower card here. I've got this page of wands. I'm going to take them both, okay? I saw a page of wands, okay? So it's someone who wants, like, a, 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 a creative new start. You know, maybe, af maybe, and maybe after they're done going through this tower, right? They, they want to say, hey, hey. Hey, uh, star energy. Um, kind of like you. You know, I want to create a new start right after I get done going through this consequence. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> this is so funny. I got a couple more cards of th that are out. This is the full card. This represents. <laughs> this represents a new start. So they for real like really are trying to get a new start with you after they finish after <laughs> after they're done getting in trouble <laughs> with the universe and after they're done going through this tower and they're like hey can we like hook up <laughs> yo this is so funny yo can we can we hook up empress okay okay I so the emperor, boss, boss, daddy figure, right? Likes the empress, okay? <laughs> empress, someone who's loving, kind, creative, passionate. You know, she's got ideas. She's got, um, she's also a leader in, in her own right. Um, she is, uh, 
you know, all of the queens in one is the Empress. Okay, and she's she's a star. So this story is saying, hey, 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 Empress. Yeah, I'm in a lot of trouble. Eh, I gotta suck this one up, but I I like you, and 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 that's the truth. <laughs> I see you as a superstar. I kind of want to get to know you yeah, right after I get done going through this tower. <laughs> Can we have a brand new start, Empress? This is comedy. This is a comedy. This is this is comedy. I, okay. Let me see if there's any more cards come out here four of pentacles so perhaps this has something to do with holding on to some <laughs> holding on to some dough holding on to some money holding on to some property holding on to some resources huh emperor wants a new start with the empress because it has to do with some Financial resources. Ha ha. Ah, now we're getting down to it. Source, higher self, Holy Spirit guides, angels of the highest vibration, ancestors who love me. Is there anything more to this story? So, Empress is in her, you know, Nine of Cups energy. She's pri privileged. She's the one. The Empress is the one. Okay. <laughs> the Empress is the one with with the bag. Empress got the bag. The Empress is the privileged lady. The Emperor. Oh, and, and, and she's also the star. The Emperor did something that got him in a lot of trouble. And he's going through it. He wants a new start. I'm done. I don't, I don't, I mean, is there a resolve? Is there a resolve to this? Am I just to point out the, the detail? Or am I to give a resolve? Please help God. Thank you. What is the resolve to this message? What is a resolve for this message? Thank you. Source, higher self, Holy Spirit, God. I'll look at it. Let's see. Let's see what let's see what almost came out. Let's see what just kind of landed right here. The moon. The moon card. The moon card represents secrets. Okay? The moon card represents a lot of arguing. The moon card represents some some somebody who's not so pleased. The moon card is representing someone who's trying to, you know, get on a path. The moon card represents this uh, portal, this gateway, that they're trying to get their permission to get through. So it seems that whatever this emperor did, that judgment was called on him, that he's going through this tower, there's some secrets. But he wants a new start with the Empress who's got the bag. Hmm. What is a resolve for this? Thank you. Source, higher self, Holy Spirit, guides, angels of the highest vibration, ancestors who love me. What is a resolve for this? Thank you. What else is part of this message that should be made aware? Oh, thank you. fortune so this is that the you can have whatever you like card okay so I'm 
going to put this with the with the empress who's got the bag. Okay. And then there's a king of wands. The king of wands. Wands representing passions. We see that there's some passions between this emperor who's got some, you know, infatuation, we'll call it. Wants kind of a creative, you know, new start with the star empress who's got the bag and is the privileged lady. This emperor person has some secrets. Okay. And so this king of wands, question at this point that I have is, is the emperor also the king of wands? Is this the same person? Or is this a different en energy? Perhaps it's the same person. King of Wands. What would the King of Wands do? The King of Wands sometimes is an energy that manipulates a situation for their advantage. So perhaps this Emperor manipulated things for his advantage, which is why judgment was called and also why he'd be experiencing a power, meaning things falling apart, meaning stuff just kind of not, not going as expected. King of Wands, Emperor, hmm. manipulating. Let's see if there's anything else we should be made aware of for whoever's resonating with this message. Thank you. Source, higher self, Holy spirit guides, angels of the highest vibration, ancestors who work with you. This message be delivered. Whatever I should be made aware of. Thank you. Thank you. Is there a resolve that this Empress energy should should have in any of this? Thank you. Resolve is the situation is is imbalanced. Okay, there's a lot of juggling that's happening in in this situation. It's a lot of juggling. It's not balanced, and so um, it's about making a head over heart decision. Okay, it's about l allowing yourself to be a bit more logical than emotional in this situation. What would, what would make you feel emotional? Well, perhaps, you know, the Empress energy, the star energy, you know, perhaps you're aware of why this Emperor energy has been called under judgment in this tower that they're facing. Right? So to have a brand new start, that they want to have, that the emperor wants to have with the empress. The message is to make a head over heart decision. Okay? Allowing yourself to get pulled in to the concept that they, that these, uh, this emperor energy has some type of infatuation with you is, is, is not the way to go but you do you do what you want to do of course i'm not telling you what to do i'm just sharing what's coming out and the resolve is make a head over heart decision okay because this card coming out means that there's been some heartbreak okay so if there's been some heartbreak in this situation and if you as this empress energy are to move forward with your a 
ability to have whatever you like. Then making a head over heart decision is what is called for at this point in time. Okay. All right. So that you can protect your fortune and not allow anyone who may want to manipulate themselves into your energy to take it. Okay? Um, so I'm going to stop right there. One more. One more. Let's see if there's one more card here. To put a to put to put a <laughs> I was gonna say to, I won't even say what I was about to say to put a bow on it let's just say it like that all right so we've got three of wands okay so there there is a new start okay um but it's three of wands okay four of wands is has a a family on it right happy happy family life. Three of Wands, there's kind of like this des deserted, abandoned area that this energy has to go through. So it appears that this energy has to go through this area, this, this situation. They have to, they're on their own, okay, from what this card is saying. Okay, and this magician card came out afterwards. Okay, so it seems that they're gonna have to do something to create something new for themselves, right? As this King of Wands energy. Okay, after all this judgment. And this tower, this new start, it's not suggesting that it's with this empress. This new start for this emperor, king of wands, magician, is on their own in this story. Right. Hopefully, this message resonated for someone out there. Um, I'm Carrie for some Moonrise. Thank you for your time. If this was helpful, consider giving it a thumbs up, like, share, comment, subscribe. All that fun social stuff. And until next time, I'll see you in the Peace!